Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in uniform plane waves in lossless dielectric medium. Lossless dielectric is also known as perfect dielectric. The condition for the lossless dielectric is its conductivity is equal to zero. That is sigma is equal to zero for lossless dielectric. Before going to solve the problem in this lossless dielectric, let's discuss the important formulas used in this problem. The attenuation constant for perfect dielectric is always zero. The phase shift constant beta is equal to omega square root of mu epsilon. Its unit is radian per meter. The characteristic impedance eta is equal to square root of mu by epsilon. Its unit is ohm. Velocity of propagation v is equal to one by square root of mu epsilon. Its unit is meter per second. Then the wavelength lambda is equal to two pi by beta. Its unit is meter. Okay. So next, the relation between electric field and magnetic field is given as eta is equal to e by h. Okay. Then the standard expression for electric field is e vector is equal to e m sine of omega t minus beta is z a z bar volt per meter. Now we are going to solve the problem. A plane wave propagation through a medium with epsilon r is equal to a mu r is equal to two has an electric field e vector is equal to zero point five sine of 10 to the power 8t minus beta z a z bar volt per meter. Determine the phase shift constant, wave impedance, velocity of propagation, and the magnetic field. Okay. So first we have to write the given data from the problem. Epsilon r is given that is a mu r is 2. Epsilon r means relative permittivity. Mu r means relative permeability. Here mu naught is the constant 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 Henry per meter. Epsilon naught is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12 Farad per meter. So here the electric field is given as 0.5 sine of 10 to the power 8t minus beta z a z bar volt per meter. So as we all know that the standard expression for electric field is given as e m. Sine of omega t minus beta z a z bar. So here we can compare these two expression. From this we can get E m represents the peak value of that electric field that is in magnitude. So E m is equal to zero point five. Omega is equal to ten to the power eight. Okay. So from this we can get these two values. E m is equal to zero point five. Omega is equal to ten to the power eight. Okay, so next we are going to find out the characteristics of the given plane wave propagation. So the first one is phase shift constant beta. So here beta is equal to omega into square root of mu epsilon. That can be written as omega square root of mu r epsilon r mu naught epsilon naught. So mu can be written as mu r mu naught. Epsilon can be written as epsilon r epsilon naught. Then we can substitute all the values here. Omega is ten to the power eight. Okay, and then we can get the answer as beta is equal to one point three three four radian per meter. Do you all understand this one? So here we can use the formula and substitute the values here and calculate this value using calculator. Then the answer is one point three three four. Radian per meter. So next one is characteristics impedance. It can also be represented as wave impedance. So eta is equal to square root of mu by epsilon. Here mu is nothing but mu naught mu r. Epsilon is epsilon naught epsilon r. Simply we can substitute all the values here, and then the answer is one hundred and eighty-eight point three six ohm. Okay. Next one is velocity of propagation. V is equal to one by square root of mu epsilon. That can be written as one by square root of mu naught mu r epsilon naught epsilon r. 
So we are going to substitute mu naught value as 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7. Mu R as 2. Epsilon naught is 8.854 into 10 to the power minus 12. Epsilon R value is 8. Then we can simplify this term and then get the answer as 0 0.7495 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So this is the velocity of propagation or the wave velocity. Okay. And the last one is magnetic field. So here we can consider the relation between electric field and magnetic field. Eta is equal to that magnitude of electric field to the magnitude of the magnetic field. So from this we can get the magnetic field as Em by eta. Substitute the peak value of this electric field as 0.5. Eta value as 188.36. So we have already calculated this value right. So we have to substitute this values in this formula to get the magnitude of the magnetic field this value is 2.655 into 10 to the power minus 3 ampere per meter. So next we are going to write the standard expression for this magnetic field. The standard expression is H vector is equal to Hm sine of omega t minus beta z a y. So if the electric field is in the A z direction or A x direction we can take that magnetic field is in A y direction. Okay. So here we can consider H vector is equal to 2.655 into 10 to the power minus 3 sine of 10 to the power 8 t minus 1.334 z A y bar. So its unit is ampere per meter. Do you all understand this one?